First goal in Chicago, Hugo. Uh, definitely not a boring one. How are you feeling right now? No, great, man. Um, I mean, the whole end of the game was just was just crazy, especially after conceding two goals in the first three games in additional time, and, and we were complaining about the, all the minutes that they were adding. And, and I mean, today it's uh, with a little bit of luck in our favor. So so happy about it. And to get that goal after being inches away from scoring last week, how does that feel finally getting the first in Chicago? It feels great, but I mean, I, I don't doubt it. And I I just try to do my thing, you know. Um, a little bit unlucky last week during the game today. The ball was uh, saved on the line and, and I just do my thing. And, and sometimes it does go in, sometimes it doesn't. And uh, so happy that I could help the team today. Hugo, nice to meet you, first of all. But congratulations on your goal. Strikers need goals. You finally got one. Is there a sense of relief? No, like I just said, uh, week in, week out, I just try to do my job and, and score as many as I can uh, to help the team. And I'm really happy that I, I could do my job today. And what's this integration been like with the team? Because it came so late in the preseason. Do you feel like you're getting more used to it and gelling with the group? It's always challenging when you miss preseason because the, the guys have been together a long time, um, especially coming from Europe. I mean, I, I had already half a season behind me. And so it's 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 not a, a secret that I had to adapt, and I'm still adapting. But I think I feel much better week after week, and, um, and I think you guys can see it on the pitch as well. And I hope it can continue that way in the, in the following weeks. How do you feel about the fans? Just like they were like connected, especially in the second half, to like pushing us through. They really helped us, and and I mean, without them, I don't think we we have the same result at um, away. So so it's uh, it's really a team effort, and when I say team, it's the whole club. Hugo, what happened with the red card? Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think that was a point point for the uh, fire to get uh, uh, the win? Even uh, you know last of game, course. The, uh, the ten minutes, twelve minutes, almost uh, overtime, and now this time the nine minutes helped you. Wait, no, of course it did. It did, but I didn't like I said. I didn't see the red card, but the uh, the red card plus the penalty got us right back in the game, and and with a two three with the fans pushing us. I mean, it was just a a matter of having some luck this time at our side. You go. Did you ever experience wind like that? You played all over the world, but this thing what was moving. This uh, this one is 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 the craziest one. I confirm. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to the Windy City. Thank you. And, uh, just one question. At halftime, what was the what was the team spirit like? Getting that goal right before halftime. Obviously, coming into the second half, the energy was there until the very end. Even after conceding that third, even before the red card. What changed? What did you feel with the team going into the last 45? I mean, one of our core values as a team, and we, we tell each other before every game, is that we stick together no matter what happens. And and I mean, there are, there are, yeah, I mean, not more difficult ways to start a game than being two goals behind after 10 minutes. And, and the goal obviously helped. Uh, but like we say, week in, week out, we just stick together and, and, and we did it.